Hi students, welcome to day 5 9th class English medium statistics class. Yesterday we have discussed the central first central tendency that is uh, the arithmetic mean for raw data and uh, the frequency that is ungrouped frequency distribution table. So, today we are going to discuss the second central tendency that is the median median. So, what is the median? Median in the name itself the mid value the middle most value after arranging the raw data that is observations either in ascending order or in descending order. If there are odd number of observations we get only one middle value that is the median. Suppose if we have even number of observations then we are going to have two middle values the average of those two gives the median of uh, the raw data. So, now what is the, the median? Median is median is the middle most middle most observation of observation of given raw data given raw data given raw data when it is arranged arranged either in ascending order ascending order or in descending order descending order this is the median is the middle most observation of given raw data when it is arranged either in ascending order or in descending order so here this median that median divides the data into two parts so if the median is in the middle then the observations on the left side are smaller and the observations on the right side are greater than the median. Okay? So, here one more point the median, median divides the data, divides the raw data, median divides the data into two groups into two groups two groups uh, of equal number of equal number equal number one part one part comprises comprises all values all values all values greater and other comprising other comprising all values all values less than median less than median so let us take uh, one uh, example how to find the median so here is a process to find the median process to find the median process to find the median for raw data for raw data so what we have to do first of all we have to arrange the data in ascending order arrange arrange the data 
in uh, ascending order or descending order next count count the number of observations count the number of observations as n so here third one two conditions were uh, there suppose if uh, the n that is the number of observations if n number of observations is odd then we get only one middle most value that is uh, n plus 1 by tooth observation observation is median if n is odd then n plus 1 by tooth observation is median and here the second case if n is even number then we are going to get two middle most values they are then the average average of n by tooth and n by 2 plus 1th observations is median. So, this is the point. So, here you can write like a formula also median is equal to when n is even only the median is equal to average of these two. What is average? Sum of observations that is n by tooth observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation by 2. This is uh, the process to find the median for raw data. So, first of all we have to arrange the data in ascending order or descending order and we have to count the number of observations n. Suppose if n is odd then there will be only one observation in the middle that is the n plus 1 by tooth observation that is the median of the data. Suppose if n is even we are going to get two middle more observations they are n by tooth observation and n by 2 plus 1 the observation therefore the median is equal to average of these two. So, let us take one example for this. Uh, that is the first question is find the median of the scores question number 1 find the median median of the scores scores what are the scores given here 75 21, 56, 36, 81, 5, that is 0, 5 and 42. So, here we have raw data that is 75. First, uh, what we have to do the process to find the median of the data, we have to arrange the data in ascending order. So, ascending order means small to big. What is the smallest number here? This is the 5. 5 is the smallest. 0, 5, of course, 5. And next one that is uh, 21. And next one 36. And next value that is 42. And next value that is 56 and next value 75 and last one 85. Here number of observations, number of observations is equal to number of observation is denoted by n, n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 observations are here. 7 is what number? Odd number. So, what is the median? So, here median is equal to if when n is odd, n plus 1 by 2, n plus 1 by tooth observation is the median. So, that is equal to n plus 1, 7 plus 1 by tooth observation, 8 by 2, the observation, that is equal to 8 by 2, fourth observation. So, therefore, 
the median is equal to what is the fourth observation here 1 2 3 4 so no you have to look at this uh, the data arranged in ascending order 1 2 3 4 so this is the 42 is the median of the data so here is a shortcut method to you by re removing pair of numbers from both sides that is the left and right side at a time you are going to get the median also here suppose if you remove these two values and next pair this one and the next pair this one you have only one value that is the median you can find the median of data data in that way also this is the, the process to find the median so first we have to arrange the data in ascending order or in descending order and you have to count the number of observations as n is equal to here the number of observations 7 7 is odd number therefore we know that when n is odd n plus 1 by 2 observation is the median we have to find the n plus 1 by 2 observation is nothing but fourth observation here yeah, that is the fourth observation is uh, 42 if the observations were very limited we can uh, using this shortcut method suppose if uh, too many observations are here we have to follow in this way only okay now let us take one more example find the median of the raw data find the median of the raw data 5 8 minus 7 3 1 9 10 and 2 so here how to find the median of this data first step we have to write the data in ascending order AO ascending order means small to big what is the smallest value here minus 7 after that we have 1 and 2 and here 3 and next one so our 3 after 5 next 8 9 10 so I count the number of observations number of observations is n number of observations n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 is what number even number so when it is even number so simply you can find the median of the data by removing pair of numbers from both sides so first pair and second pair third pair uh, suppose if you want to remove these two also there is no value that is why you should not remove these two so here median is equal to you can find direct way that is uh, the median median is equal to 3 plus 5 by 2 that is equal 8 by 2 that is equal 4 this is the shortcut method suppose in the process how to find so here number of pros number of observations n is equal to 8 so or else the second method or in this way also you can find so first by removing pair of numbers from both sides you can find the median if there is only one value that is the median if they in the middle we have two values then the average of those two gives the median this is a shortcut way this is useful for uh, um, mcq questions but here in this way that is the number of observation n is equal to 8 this is even number isn't it when even number we have median is equal to the average of n by tooth observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation observation by 2 so here you can write n is 8 8 by 2 8 by 2 the OBS observation 8 by 2 plus 1th observation 
by 2. You have to write like this. 8 by 2 th observation. So that is equal to 8 by 2. That is 4th observation plus 8 by 2, 4 plus 1. That is 5th observation by 2. That is equal to, what is the 4th observation here? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4th observation is 3 and the 5th observation is 5. Luckily, the 5th observation is 5 here. That is 8 by 2, that is equal to 4. Of course, this uh, seems to be somewhat uh, lengthy. But here, this is the process, actual process to find the median. When the raw data is given, we have to arrange either in ascending order or in descending order. After that, you have to count the number of observations n. That is equal to 8. 8 is even number. You must decide whether it is even or odd. When it is odd, we are going to get only one middlemost value that is the median of the data. And suppose if there are two middlemost values, then the average of those two. What are the middlemost value? n by 2th observation and that n by 2 plus 1, 1th observation. And the average of these two gives the median of the data. So, in this way also we get 4 and here also 4. This is a shortcut way and this is the process. Okay. Now, take one more question. So, next question. Find the median of median of 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 6 and 3 by 4. So, here the number of observations look at this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 observations. We are going to get only one middle value that we is the median. But here is a task, we have to arrange this data in ascending order. So, is it possible to write uh, these fractions in ascending order directly? No. That is why you have to convert these fractions into like fractions. The basic knowledge of uh, fractions is required. What is, what is uh, like fractions? Can you define like fractions? Fractions having same denominator are called like fractions. So that we can compare the fractions and you can write ascending order or descending order. That is why first you have to mould these fractions into like fractions. Here the given fractions 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 6 and 3 by 4. So, there is a simple way to convert uh, these fractions into like fractions. Here, LCM of uh, the denominators you have to find 2, 3, 4, 6 and 4. You have to take the LCM of the denominators. Here, 2, 2, 1, ja, 3, 2, 2, ja, 2, 3, ja, 2, 2, ja. Once again, you take 2, 1, 3, 1 and here 3 and 1. You have to take 3. 1, 3, 1, ja, 3, 1, ja, 3. So, this is one time and one time. Here, you have the LCM of uh, this uh, denominators that is 2 into 2 into 3. 2, 2, ja, 4, 4, 3, ja, 12. So, 12 uh, is the LCM. So, now you have to convert all these fractions as the denominator 12 that is that implies so what is uh, the quotient for 12 divided by 2 that is 6 6 into 1 6 the numerator becomes like this that is 6 by 12 gives you 1 by 2 and now 3 into 4 that is 3 4 is a 12 so, 4 into 2 that is 8 is the numerator. Here, how many times 12 occurs in 4th table? 
4 3 ja that is 3 1 ja 3. So now, now here 6 2 ja 12 2 1 ja 2 and now 4 3 ja 12 3 into 3 that is a 9. So now you can write the ascending order of the fractions. So here compare these values. So here the smallest value is 2. 2 by 12, 2 by 12 means 1 by 6 is the first fraction, smallest fraction. And next 3, 3 by 12 means 1 by 4. And next 6 by 12, 6 by 12 comes, 6 by 12 gives you 1 by 2. And next one, 8 by 12, 8 by 12 means 2 by 3. And next one, 9 by 12 that is 3 by 4. So here in simple manner you can find the median of this data by removing pair of numbers from both sides. So these two first pair and next and this is the median. So median is equal to 1 by 2 right. Okay, suppose so this is very simple but we must have basic concepts how to convert the fractions to like fractions so that only we can arrange ascending order of the fractions. So now one more question on this. Suppose if the median is given then we have to find the observation. So here is a question find if the median, if the median of the data x, x by 3, x by 4, x by 5, x by 2 is 10, then find the value of x, value of x. This is uh, the question. So now, how to find the value of x? So here the median is given that is uh, 10. We have to find the median of this data first of all. This is the raw data and here the number of observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 observations. 5 is odd number. You will get only one observation in the middle. So, first of all, we have to arrange this observation in ascending order. So, here, what is the least value? Here, the numerators are same. Here, the denominators 2, 5, 4, 3. Here, nothing means 1 is here. So, when the numerators are same, the denominator, the maximum denominator, which contains the maximum denominator is the least one. Therefore, x by 5 is the least. And now, next one x by 4, next x by 3, and next x by 2, and next x. So, here the number of observations 5, therefore, you can by removing these two, these two, you are going to get this as the median. So, here median is equal to x by 3. But here we have to find the value of x. That is why you have to look for median in the question. Is there median? Yes. Here 10 is the median. That implies 10 is equal to x by 3. That implies x is equal to 10 into 3 that is equal to 30. By cross multiplying each other you will get x is equal to 30, isn't it? So, if the median of the data is given, we have to find the unknown quantity. So, that you can find all the observations of uh, this data also. Here, our task is we have to find the value of x only when the median is given. Okay? This is uh, the value of x that is 30. So, in this way we can find the median for raw data. 
and uh, now there may be some questions to find the median of ungrouped frequency distribution table also. So, then how to find let us see one question. So, that is so here median median of a ungrouped ungrouped frequency frequency distribution table distribution table. So, this is uh, the next type suppose if you take so let us take one question so that we can find the median of this ungrouped frequency distribution table here wages in rupees and number of employees are given number of employees employees here the wages 7500 salary the number of employees uh, 4 and here 8000 salary 18000 employees were there 8530 members 9000 20 members and now 9515 and next 10000 salary 8 members and 11000 salary 5 members are here. So, here our task is to find the median salary that is the median wages of the employees ok find the median find find the median of this data this is the question. So, for this first uh, here the data is given in the horizontal table we have to convert this table in vertical mode first of all ok. So, now we are going to write uh, the answer for this. So, here first of all you have to write the wages as x i and next is uh, the frequency f i. What are the wages here? First wage 7500, next to 8000, 8500 and 9000, 9500, 10000 and 11000. These are the wages. So, here the frequency 7500 salary salaried employees were 4 members 8018 members 8530 members and uh, here 9020 members now 9515 and here 8 11000 salaried employees were 5. So, here we have to find the median of this ungrouped frequency distribution table. Here not simply given the wages. Suppose only wages are here we can identify uh, the median, but here the frequency is given that is why here one important item we have to find the cumulative frequency that is less than cumulative frequency cumulative frequency simply this is uh, LCF we have to find the LCF why we have to find here suppose uh, somebody asked the number of employees who get the salary below 8000 then we have to add these two exactly 8000 only 18 members were there in that company. Suppose if you want to less than 8000 you have to add these two less than 8500. So, then you have to add all these things for this purpose we have to find the less than cumulative frequency. So, here the first less than or equal to 7500 how many members 4. Now, less than or equal to 8000. 
So then 18 plus 4 that is 22 members were there and now less than or equal to 8552 so 22 plus 30 and next 52 plus uh, 20 72 and next 87 and next 87 plus 8 95 and 95 plus 5 there is 100. So, here this gives the n, n is equal to 100. Suppose if you add all these things also you will get 100 only 4 plus 8 12, 12 plus 8 20. 20 plus these two 10 30 0 3 plus 1 4 4 plus uh, 2 that is 6 6 plus 4 10 ok by adding this the last uh, value gives you the total frequency here n is equal to how much 100 what is 100? This is uh, the total number of frequency means total number of employees. 100 employees were there. 100 is even number, isn't it? Even number. In the raw data, we have observed that when n is even, we are going to get two middlemost values, isn't it? So now, what are those values? n by tooth observation that is equal to 100 by 2 that is equal to 50th observation and uh, we must have one more observation that is n by 2 is 50 plus 1 that is uh, 51 51st observation ok. So, we have to look for these two observations. So, 50 and 51 observations falls in which cumulative frequency. So, here up to 7500 are equal to 4 only. Here 22, here 52. Yes, in this, this 50, 50th and 51st observation falls, falls in 52 LCF, isn't it? So, therefore, in this the median is uh, the observation that is the wages. Therefore, the median of uh, this uh, frequency distribution table of course ungrouped is uh, 8500 rupees. So, we have to find when n is even the both observations if n is odd only we have to look for only one observation which is in the middle that is uh, the median of the data ok. So, here the 50 so median of the class distribution is uh, 8500 ok. Next uh, let us take uh, one more question on this uh, ungrouped frequency distribution table. So now here the marks are given and number of students, number of students were given, 15 marks were got by 10 students and 20 marks for 8 students and 10 marks for 6 students, 25 marks for 4 students and 5 marks for 1 student. We have to find the median. So, question is find uh, the median of this ungrouped frequency distribution table. So, how to find the median of this ungrouped frequency distribution table? We have to convert this horizontal mode to vertical first of all. Here x i that is uh, the observations and next we have to write the frequency f i. While writing the observations you have to write in ascending order. So, here the marks are in zigzag 15, 20, 10, 25, 5. 
there is no order that is why you have to write the observations in a ascending order in the previous question so the wages were given in ascending order only 7500 next to 8000 8500 that is in the increasing mode so here also we have to write the first uh, uh, 5 after that 10 and next 15 and next 20 and 25 this is uh, in ascending order a small to big now the frequency you have to write the frequency of 5 is 1 the frequency of 10 is 6 the frequency of 15 is 10 the frequency of 20 is 8 and 25 is 4 isn't it so now to find the median we have to find one more box that is the cumulative frequency cf of course lcf less than cumulative frequency also how to find lcf so that is the first one 1 1 plus 6 7 7 plus 10 17 17 plus 8 25 25 plus 4 29 so this is nothing but n n is equal to 29 isn't it n is equal to 29 so now here n is equal 29 29 is odd number isn't it yes so now we have the number of observations as odd number then we are going to have only one middlemost value what is that middlemost value n n by 2 n plus 1 by 2th observation is the median so what is n plus 1 by 2 29 plus 1 by 2th observation this plus 1 is in the numerator so that is equal to n plus 1 30 29 plus 1 30 by 2 30 by 2th observation 30 by 2 means 15th 15th observation you have to look for this 15th observation so in lcf so here 1 7 and 17 yes in this you are going to get the median so what is the median where we have to look for median in this observation therefore this 15 randomly it comes luckily the 15th observation 15th observation is the median so here median is the 15th observation so median is equal to 15th observation that is nothing but 15 only here we get the median of uh, the, this data is 15 it does not come uh, uh, in all situations okay so here if the data is in this mode you have to write the marks that is the observations in ascending order and the corresponding frequency and after finding lcf then we have to find uh, the value of n that is total frequencies and uh, from that we are going to find uh, the median of the data if n is odd number we have to look for only one observation that is the middlemost observation if n is even we have to look for two middlemost observations in which they false so here 15th observation falls first in 17 that is why the in this only we can find the median the median is found in the observations not in the frequency okay this 15 is the median of this data Okay, let us uh, take one more example for this uh, median. Here, number of uh, centuries, centuries. 
and number of cricketers. Cricketers. So this is taken as uh, xi actually and this is fi. <coughs> so here, so number of uh, centuries 5 and 10, 15, 20, 25. So here first we have to look at whether these are in ascending order or not. So these are in ascending order, there is no need to write once again. So here number of cricketers, so 5 number of centuries 5, 5 centuries were done by 56 cricketers and here 10 centuries 23, 15 centuries 39 and 20 centuries 13 and 25 centuries 8 members. So, here find the debt median of this data. So, here what we have to find uh, LCF, is not it, what is LCF less than cumulative frequency of this data. So, here the first frequency is 56, you have to write 56 here and now the number of centuries made by the cricketers less than or equal to 10 centuries that is 56 plus 23 that is 79 and now less than 15 less than 39 centuries 79 plus this uh, 39 9 plus 9 18 8 plus 3 11 118 and 118 plus uh, this 13 that is uh, 131, 131 plus 8, 139. So, here n is equal to 139, isn't it? The total number of frequencies, that is the number of cricketers were 139. So, here how to find the frequency uh, median n is equal to 139 only? 139 is odd number. So, if it is odd number, we are going to get only one middlemost value that is n plus. So, median, median is n plus 1 by 2th observation, is not it? That is what is n plus 1 by 2, 139, 139 plus 1 by 2th observation. So, that is 140 by 2 that is 70th observation. So, what is the 70th observation? Where to find 70th observation? We have to recognize this 70th observation in LCF. So, here 56 you cannot find the 70th. Here 79, yes, you can find this is uh, the median class. So, now the median of the data is equal to here we have to find the median in this xi therefore 10. So, 10 is the median of uh, this data. So, in this way when the ungrouped frequency distribution table is given, we have to write the observations in ascending order. If they are not in ascending order or descending order, you have to write. First of all, you have to look at the observations. If there is in ascending order, there is no need. So, if uh, they are not in uh, Either of those orders you have to write in one of the order. So, here the number of uh, um, centuries means uh, you have to take it as xi 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Therefore, these are in ascending order and uh, the corresponding frequencies were given. So, with these two you cannot find the median of the data. So, that is why for that you have to find the LCF of that are less than cumulative frequency. Q 
Cumulation means you have to add. So less than cumulative frequency means here is a question. So number of centuries made 10 or less than 10. 10 or less than or equal to 10 means uh, the 79 members. So without adding this uh, you can look at this LCF and you can answer a question posed by something else. Okay. Now the median of this data is uh, here uh, 139 is the total frequency and median equal n plus 1 by 2 the observation. So what is the observation 10? How you are finding 70th observation falls in this that is why you have to draw a line under this and you have to find this is the median of the data. Okay. So you can try this type of questions in 9.2 exercise and uh, tomorrow we are going to discuss the third central tendency which is uh, nothing but mode. It is very easy to find out for raw data and as well as ungrouped frequency distribution table. Up to now you have to complete the questions based on the arithmetic mean and the median for raw data and ungrouped frequency distribution table. Okay. See you in the next class.